I think that the humanities um, brings a kind of a, a structure uh, to how people think about their lives. And of course, the, um, of course, economics matters, uh, but uh, how people get um, satisfaction from the lives that they live, or how they find it very difficult to, uh, to manage, um, and how they deal with that uh, difference uh, is, is all um, the stuff of the humanities. And uh, it can be in fiction, it can be in nonfiction. There are, are some of the uh, very best works in, in nonfiction actually deal with lives which are also um, very well uh, laid out in works of fiction. I mean, they, I, I think that that's very interesting. Um, and it, it, why should we be interested in the, t the bottom 5% or the bottom 20%? Um, well, they, they, are, they are us. They are part of our society. And uh, how understanding how, as people in society, we can speak to one another and speak to one another's condition is very much the stuff of the humanities. Um, simply characterizing people uh, statistically just doesn't tell you what you really, or it doesn't tell me uh, what I really want to know about people and how they're living and, and, um, and what they care for and why they care for it. What has changed is that we can analyze much more data. Um, but we, I'm not pleased with all the data analytic work. Just because you can uh, doesn't, know, it doesn't mean you can really make sense of vast amounts of data. The problem is that people are able to um, uh, analyze lots of data, but they bring to it quite simplistic hypotheses uh, or no hypotheses at all. And when you have no theories of, of what's going to emerge from lots and lots of data, um, uh, what you get is really fairly chaotic. Uh, I, I think we need to go back and uh, do a bit more thinking about what might we expect to see, um, how are things changing, um, so thinking more about the structure of uh, human lives is revealed by data.